Do you want to know the future? How long you're going to live? How and even when you'll die? For many of us, me included, that's a pretty scary thought, but it can be done. That's right, there's a simple do-it-yourself DNA test that can tell if you're likely to suffer from cancer, a heart attack, or even Alzheimer's disease. A glimpse of the killer within, knowledge that could help save your life. And now, more and more Australians are taking the test to ease the uncertainty, to get a hint of what's in store. Among them, surfer Lane Beachley, TV handyman Scott Cam, and reluctantly, me. She's the queen of the waves. World surfing champion Lane Beachley has always been ready to take on any challenge. A gutsy competitor who'll ride every monster wave the ocean can throw at her. But now she faces a new test of her courage. Have you done this yet? No, not yet. Mm. Okay, so you just swab the inside eight times. Today, Lane Beachley is about to dive head first into the unknown. So it's a pretty simple test, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's really non-intrusive. She's bravely handing over her DNA for a test that will give her a glimpse into her future. Now, at least you know, with these results, if they're good, we party. And if we're, they're bad, we party. That's right. All right. Television's favourite builder, Scott Cam, is taking the test too. And so am I. Okay, last, last opportunity. No, I'm keen. I really am keen to do this. And uh, if it's real bad, we'll just get a second opinion. Oh, that's exactly Aren't right. We? I'm absolutely with you on that. We're all about to be genetically tested. The latest science that will tell us where we come from and what we might die from. Genetic testing is a new and very powerful tool that's only come on the scene in the past two or three years. Professor Bob Williamson is a world-renowned geneticist who believes everyone should have the right to know their genetic destiny. This new knowledge, it's a genie that's out of the box. You can't bring it back in, and we have to find a way of making sure that the community has enough knowledge to make good use of this fantastic genetic potential. Through genetic testing, we can now predict our chances of getting cancer, heart disease, even Alzheimer's. A whole range of deadly illnesses with just a quick swab of the cheek. Until a couple of years ago, we could only look at genes one at a time. The technology has changed. It's changed in that we can now look at 100,000 genes at once, and it's changed because it's much, much cheaper. You can do the test for two, three, four hundred dollars. It's really quite remarkable how rapidly this has advanced. I'm Shelley. We're from Domestic Blitz. Of course, you know Scotty Cam. In his role as resident builder on Domestic Blitz, Scott Cam has spent the last few years helping change the lives of people who've done it tough. What about the potential? Do you want to hear my vision? Yes. The V8 members bar. By doing this genetic test, he's hoping to discover whether he's escaped his own family's heartbreak. You get all this gear out, I'll get the truck round to the car park. Well, Liz, we've had a fairly tragic medical history in our family because my father uh, died a very young man of cancer, uh, 54, and uh, my uh, mother has had two bouts of cancer and survived. She's also had some heart issues as well with, uh, with a bypass in the, tossed into the middle of there. I always say mum's like a 12-gauge shotgun woman. That's what's going to take to stop her. She keeps going on. She's pretty tough in spite of all that. She's tough. So, you know, I, I, um, you know, I hope it's not hereditary, because uh, if it is, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a lady, you know, like, I'm five to one on. So you're looking for a bit of a heads up? Well, I suppose so, yeah, a bit of a heads up. And uh, I, don't, I don't want to be told, Liz, I don't want you to come and tell me that on the 25th of October 2020, I'm gone. I don't want that. Lane Beachley was adopted at an early age and has only recently met her biological mother. Started playing tennis and decided to turn to surfing. But she knows little about her father. From my mother's side, I'm aware of um, glaucoma, um, so eye problems, um, but nothing 
more serious than that that I'm aware of, but um, from my dad's side, it's a complete mystery. Because for you, it's more than finding out about what you might get in the future. It's, it's about finding out something you don't know. You know, one of the things that I, that I always questioned when I was adopted is, what am I in for? Medically, what am I in for? You know, what am I going to face in future years? And as you creep closer to 40, you know, you've got to be a lot more aware of your medical history and, and, and things that could affect you health-wise. Genetic testing is now available to anyone who wants it. I've just ordered this kit over the internet. For three or four hundred dollars, you can have your DNA tested by one of a number of companies from around the world. Frankly, I'd rather not be doing this. Do I want to know what nasties lie within? Not really. Do I have a choice? Not really, given I've asked others to. So, here goes. Send this to the doc. <laughs> Off to the... Where does this go? This is going off to Iceland. Iceland? Mm, that's where they do it. Really? Mm. Oh, wow. Well, off to Iceland. No wonder it takes four weeks. Iceland has become a world leader in genetic research. It's isolation making it one of the purest gene pools in the world. With its headquarters in Reykjavik, Decode Genetics has led the way in offering home testing kits, which can predict your risk of developing up to 36 different medical conditions. Do you look at yourself differently in the mirror? Now that you have this kind of genetic information? You know, the, the older I get, the less tendency I have to look at myself in a mirror, so... <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a mutation you've got, or...? <laughs> no, it's just old age, my dear. Kari Stephenson is Decode's founder and chief scientist. What are we truly learning, though, when uh, we submit our DNA for scanning? You can learn about your risk, what your genetic risk of, of diseases like breast cancer, early onset heart attack, type 2 diabetes, etc. is. And if that is something that you would like to learn about yourself, I think it is good that you can get it. How accurate is it, though? It is very, very accurate. It's extraordinarily accurate. We truly are embarking on a journey of discovery, science which will allow medicine to beat disease before it strikes. There are about seven or 8,000 genetic disorders that are due to mistakes in just one gene. And in every one of those cases, we can actually now use the gene sequence, the sequence of the human genome, uh, in order to test and see whether someone is likely to get a disease. the clouds, barrel rolling, playing with the birds. There's a risk gene. Wingsuit flies Glenn Singleman and Heather Swan both have it. We've got the so-called thrill gene, the, thr the D4DR gene on chromosome 11. And if you've got 11 copies of the gene, you're a high sensation seeker, you're an explorer, a thrill seeker, a person who likes to push the boundaries. And that's more or less uh, a genetic imperative. And there's even a sports gene, which dictates whether you're better suited to speed or endurance. And this genetic shopping list is growing every day. We actually, the other day, we found a sequence variant in the sequence of the human genome that has significant impact on whether or not you like to solve crossword puzzles. So, Are you serious? You are? You're, yes, I'm, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Yeah, For our volunteers, though, it's not the crossword puzzle or sporting genes they're worried about. Hit me with it, Bob. What have I got? OK. Their We've results are in, lot. and Professor yeah. Williamson is about to deliver the news. So they tell you you're at marginally increased risk of, for instance, lung cancer. But if you're not a smoker, uh -huh. You're at very low risk of lung cancer anyway if you're not a smoker and you haven't been exposed to asbestos. Having said that, there's one piece of information here which is interesting, and it's so interesting that I went back right into the DNA sequence to work out what was going on. And that is you're at slightly increased risk 
of Alzheimer's disease, roughly double the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Double? Double the risk, the population risk of Alzheimer's disease. And that's because you've got a variant of one particular gene. Now, with a result like this, you might think of doing crosswords. You might think of going out for a run, because it's been shown that people who exercise their brain mm. are more likely to delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease, even if they're in an at-risk group. For Scott Cam, this wasn't the news he'd expected, nor Lane Beachley. Well, Lane, looking at the list here, you do have this somewhat increased risk of Alzheimer's disease, about double the population average. And it's actually uh, a bit more significant even than that because that's a risk in your 70s. Um, so the, what, the, the higher the number, the, the earlier The higher the number, the higher the risk. Of course, but, so, but does that mean the earlier the onset as well? Um, not in most cases, but in this case it does. So I've and got a great excuse for forgetting is. people's names and You've things like that. You've got a good that. excuse. Okay, good. Definitely. All right. When it comes to breast cancer, you're pretty much on the average risk, uh, a little bit lower, bit of good news there. That's good. Heart attack, a little bit above the average risk, bad news there, but to be <laughs> honest, those are, those are really very, very much in the normal range. And then no there's risk. me. Okay, give me the news. Is it good or is it not so good? You've actually got a very nice set of genetic figures here. Um, you have a marginally elevated risk uh, of breast cancer, but that's not one of these genes that causes a very high risk. It just means it's something that you'll need to think about. And very low risk of developing a number of eye diseases, so it looks like your vision's going to be okay. Oh, all of that is good news. I think uh, there is value in this, is there not? Provided you're the sort of person who can take these things and live with them and realize that they're not determining what illness you'll get. They're just a hint. Unless you come up with one of those cancer genes or heart disease genes that really is important. For those three people in a hundred, four people in a hundred, this could be very important. It could be life-saving. We didn't ruin your day, did we? No, all good news, Liz, I reckon. Nothing. Apart from the Alzheimer's. I'm glad uh, Bob didn't say you got an 80% chance of getting cancer. I'm really glad he, he, that didn't happen. And same with heart disease. But you know, I've got to watch what I uh, eat and do and I've got to lose weight and, and then I'll have a lower risk. Has this been a positive experience or not? Now that I know that I, I have a higher incidence of, of Alzheimer's, I'm going to do everything I can to prevent the onset of it. You'll change some things or do extra things? I'll probably do extra things, yeah. I'll probably start playing Sudoku or, <laughs> or learning another language. Well, that's the one thing I would not want you to do, is to go away and think that you were going, going to get Alzheimer's. No, I refuse to. I refuse to take this test home and go, OK, this is what I'm in for. It's still about your health and your environment and, and maintaining a healthy body and a healthy mind. It's up to you. It is up to you. And that's the lesson. Genes are just one part of the equation. But these tests do give us a hint about what might come our way and an opportunity to change the way we live our lives and maybe even save our lives. Eat plenty of fish, mate, is that Eat. what it is? Omega-3? Eating, eating plenty of fish is always a good thing to do. Beautiful. Good for your health. So what we've worked out is stay off the smokes, go for a run around the block, do some crosswords, and I can have a drink. Yeah. I love your work, Bob. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nick McKenzie. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. Don't miss out on our Extra Minute segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.